Well, good morning, everybody. It's Ernie back with another episode on iFish, fresh and salty. And we are out here in beautiful Northern California. Fortunately, you guys cannot tell the weather right now because it is opening season for Dungeness Crab out here for California, guys, in Half Moon Bay. And we're actually have we're actually on Captain Paul's boat here. He actually has 12 pots that we're dumping out here in the ocean. It is about 100 and uh, uh, Jerry, what's the 170 feet of water. We did start about when it was 140, so we are uh, getting a little bit lower and lower. So um, let's go ahead and show you guys here. Well, pretty much before we get going here, we are going to be explaining on this video um, on a how to, how to set up crab pots, how to bait them, um, how to pull them, and also enjoy the catch and cook that we are going to be having, guys. Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys here what they actually got going on in this, on this uh, process here of these crab pods. So right now they're, uh, they got this rope here, they actually just uh, sent off the buoy. On these actual buoys guys, um, I can, uh, I'll show you in a second here, but on these buoys um, you actually have to have your fishing, uh, your, your fishing number um, just, so, just by the, the law for the, for the fishing game. And also f to know that that's actually your, your pot out here. Uh, because obviously you could drop these pots, leave them out, and obviously you're, you're waving, uh, putting a point on your actual GPS. But anyways, right now they put, the, they're going to be putting out, uh, Paul, this is 240 40, feet of yeah. rope. Okay, and we are in about 170 feet of water here. So they want that extra just in case of the water in the future, just all the swells. It doesn't, um, uh, obviously Mother Nature is Mother Nature, so um, they have that much of, of length just so the, the crop pot could actually stay down majority of the time um, also too we are soaking the soaking is uh, pretty much leaving the crab pots on the bottom of the surface of the of the ocean and uh, letting the, the crabs crawl on in there so but right now uh, what they're doing here uh, like I said they're gonna let, feed up all this line until it actually reaches the pot they're gonna bait the pot and we're gonna show you that process right now all right, so right now Jamie right now is gonna be uh, getting chunks into this uh, bait little bucket canister that they have this is right here, Mike, go ahead and show that, if you guys can see that. That has all chopped up, uh, chopped up uh, herring that Paul and Jamie actually cast netted it, and they cut this up into little pieces so they can actually go into this basket. Also too, they do have, check this out guys, this is all from the fishing trips. Uh, those are all the guts and carcasses of all the all the rockfish out here, so perfect bait for these crabs. They love, to, obviously, any type of, uh, any type of, um, uh, of bait works out here but obviously having fresh uh, fresh bait is obviously key um, so right now they just dropped it in there go to the bottom of the floor and we'll come back later and um, and see what we got in these pots like I said guys this is the buoys that this uh, this is the go fishing ID number for actually uh, Paul here and this is what identifies um, his own crab uh, crab pot because a lot of people put crab pots and that's how you know that that's yours so and it's required. It, and it's required by law. So right now, once again, he's, uh, he's Paul's feeding out all the line, and uh, right now Jamie's got uh, all these carcasses that he's be putting on the on this hanger, and he's going to be putting in the center of this uh, of this crab pot, so you can grab get all the attention of the crabs, go in the center of the pot, just so they could uh, get stuck in there. And right now, Mike is banding up the the bait jar. You got the bait jar for the scent, and you got the crabbing or the uh, the hanging bait from his dead uh, fish carcasses. So it's just so they can have their one last meal before they make delicious uh, delicious recipes out of them. It's 
gonna close it up. These guys have been doing an all 12 of them. This is the last one that's going down. Oh yeah. <laughs> there it goes, down to the ocean floor. Not ready yet, Polly. Where do you want me to get it? There it goes, first buoy out of 12. Put the, what's this machine called? Um, Jamie? Ace Lane Hauler. It's just an assistance here, guys, to actually uh, pull up assist. Uh, since it is about 250 feet of work, uh, rope, you just got to uh, assist it. It's doing its job because they are, are um, really heavy. So, and then while we're feeding it, we're letting them back out. We got ba uh, Mike back there feeding the line with the buoy. So instead of having all the rope on deck, we're going back out. We're going to pull up. We're gonna pull up the crabs, take them out, make sure they're legal size, put them in our bucket, and move on to the next one. First pot's coming up, guys. We see the shadow coming up. Loaded, Loaded guys. Oh. Look at that. No way. Woo First pot, guys. First pot. So we do have six um, six anglers, six fishermen on board, so it is 10 per person. So we actually keep 60, 60 Dungeness crab here, guys. And look at this, first one, guys, mother load. Unbelievable. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Okay, so Woo -hoo! On the ground. That's insane. That's Captain Paul right there, guys, okay, putting, the, hooking us up. Like every time that we go out, man, this is insane. <laughs> Right now, Jamie's got that uh, that crab gauge. Make sure it's over five and three quarters, right? Five and three quarters. That's a legal size right here in California. These are big boys. And all males. Want to show them the, the carapace? Carapace, guys. More narrow. Girls a lot wider. So that's how you know that's a that's a male dungeon of crab. Keep it count, right? <laughs> that is insane, dude. Mikey! So this is on an eight-hour soak here, guys. We dropped them off at midnight because it was legal since it is opening day for Dungeness Crab. It is uh, Saturday, November 2nd. And um, uh, soak them um, eight hours. And first pot is right now, Mike, where are we at? 28. 28 right here, guys. Almost halfway done. We need 60. Go back in. Look at the size of that one here, guys. Monster. Oh, are you happy now? I'm happy. I got my crabs. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> okay, big jar. Try that, Joe. Gives me the bait jar. So we got Joe in the corner re rebaiting our stuff to drop them back in. So we got a little hanger here. Got the dead carcasses. I'm not gonna put the hanger. Filling in with these bait Give me jars just here. Let's put another uh, another carcass in the middle. That just draws all this beautiful, delicious crabs to these pots. Free strap. Okay, Polly. And here we go. All baited, hey. all emptied out. Back to the bottom, bottom of the floor of the oh, ocean. Wait. What hey. you want to do is you want to make sure that the gates are closed. Okay, ready, Paul? Yep. Down she goes. So we got number two buoy here, guys. So if you guys can see right there, orange buoy on top of the surface of the water. We got Jamie right here with the, uh, with the hook. There we go. There, around the 
bottom, around here, turn it on, and now you pull. Okay, Polly. Okay, nothing. So we're going to go ahead and pull this up here, guys. 200 feet, 250 foot of rope. It has weights on the rope, so the rope doesn't float because it has it. I just saw one right now. Yeah. So the rope sinks and it's not floating. Okay. So the don't run it over and cause a hazard. Okay. So if you guys heard that, there is ropes, I mean, uh, a weight on these, uh, on these ropes. I'm gonna show you guys my coming here really quick. You see that weight here, guys? So Jamie was saying that if it were to get cut off or whatnot, the rope's not gonna flow on top of the service and and um, and uh, get stuck in like uh, the boat's propellers. So you see that right there coming up? So these ropes, if they get cut off, they're gonna go bottom to the ocean floor. And unfortunately, we don't want that to happen, but if it were, that's where we would like it at instead. So I'm just assisting this uh, this this puller. It's working on its own, but you want to help it out. To work out, I'm gonna get hot after this one. <laughs> no need going to the gym. When we got all the pullers, if you get tired. Right. Okay, here it comes. Right, Paul. Off the off the rope. Color guys, woohoo! Second pot, guys. Look at this, unbelievable, man! Candy, 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 Dungeness crowd. That's what I'm talking about. We got another loaded third pot, guys. Holy Toledo! Look at this candy. Take a picture? You know what? Yeah, I want to take a picture of that too. Third pot, 60 crabs. Done, guys. So we got them in here. All right, so now that we're all done, we're going to do a little bit of combo, a little bit of rock fishing, and uh, go back to camp and start cooking. All right, guys, we are back at camp. If you can notice, Mike, go ahead and show it what's going on here. We do have a lot of uh, stones. Sure, come on in. So right now we got. I didn't. Sh I didn't show you guys that we went rock fishing just because last couple episodes. If you actually go back onto my videos, I actually put those in the description below, um, showing you rock fishing out where we went to the deep reef. But uh, we did a combo: Dungeness crab, uh, rock fishing. So right now we got Jamie, the guy that you guys saw earlier on the boat, helping us out. And uh, right now he's just filleting, filleting these rock fish. Jamie, what are you going to be preparing for these rock fish here? It's going to be beer battered. So fish and chips with a beer batter. Fish and chips with a beer batter. That's number one, guys. Number two is gonna be, we'll get, we'll get over there in a second. We're just actually waiting for the water to boil, put the crabs in. The water that we actually are using is the salt water, ocean water, and it just makes it more delicious, succulent crab. So that's gonna be happening. Uh, we'll see you guys back in a little bit. So we're actually putting the crabs, Dungeness crabs, into the boiling water, like I said, the salt water. And uh, we're gonna stuff this regular, and then we're gonna make a spicy one here. So let's go ahead and just get these guys going. Paul did say it's about 17 minutes for them to actually perfectly cook. And uh, we'll see you guys again in a little bit. Yeah, Jamie, he's the one that just filleted all the rockfish right now, and uh, he's gonna be making a beer battered fish. So let's let's see what he's gonna, let's see how he's gonna be doing it. And what's he putting inside of it? It's a very simple recipe. It's basically flour, salt, pepper, Cajun seasoning, and uh, powdered. Um, um, it'll come to me. Okay. And the most important thing, Sierra Nevada. And fifty dollars. So you pour a little bit in. Give it a nice little stir till you get the right consistency. I save some off to the side so if it comes too thin, I can thicken it up. 
You don't want to get that. So it's very simple. Get this going, and then just take your clean fillets with no bones in them, dip them in them, and then deep fry them in vegetable oil at 350 degrees or so. What, about two to four minutes? Yeah, till golden brown. Okay. And then to go with this, we have homemade cocktail sauce and homemade tartar sauce. That's caper jalapeno tartar sauce, and just a little spicy cocktail sauce with some dill in there. Right on. So pour a little bit more in there, and I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to it, and then we're ready to go once the oil comes up to temperature. All right. We got one recipe done. Let's try it out. The one that Jamie was making with that, that beer batter. Homemade um, tartar sauce. And what was this, Gene, right here? That's picante, man. Like, a, oh my god. Let's try Epic. It We're going to try one with sauce, one without. Oh my god, dude. A plus, guys. 100%. White. Tender. Semi flaky. Crispiness. Let's try some of that other sauce. Oh my god. I'm gonna dig in guys and we'll see you back in a little bit. We're gonna What's up guys? We are away from camp and away from that freaking awesome day that we had over there at Half Moon Bay dropping the pots, picking them up, first time, and I think, once again, Captain Paul for inviting me. What a blessing, super blessed to be out there. Was gonna finish the video out there, and honestly, I could not finish the video. I was just so tired. Friday after work, we all went to Half Moon Bay, set up camp, we had dinner, took, took like a two and a half hour nap, and then we dropped, we woke up like 11 p.m. Friday night, dropped the pots at 12, that's where the video begins. And because Dungeness season was open November 2nd at 12 a.m. So we were out there about 12.15 and um, could not finish it, but I did show you guys, there was another recipe like chili. I didn't actually have a chance to because I stuffed myself with that delicious um, fish, uh, fish batter that uh, Jamie cooked up for us. And um, anyways, right here, uh, we actually have all of the crabs already done. We, uh, we cooked all of them out there, but right now I'm, I'm here with my family. We're gonna just bring them back up to life, warm them up. So we're gonna be steaming them here. So I'm just gonna show you a couple little things that I'm gonna be um, uh, putting in, in this uh, stra into the steamer. So here's our steam plate right here. I got water going on, fires on. And what I'm gonna be doing here is just adding some, uh, some fresh lemon juice here. And I'm just gonna leave those in there just so it can be nice and citrusy. One more should be fine. All right. And a bunch of, uh, about, I don't know, a handful of, a handful of garlic cloves, guys. Fresh garlic cloves peeled. And what I'm gonna let that do, it's gonna go ahead and drop this down. Close the lid. We're gonna go ahead and let that go until it actually comes up to a boil so we can get the steamer going. Put it in the crab, put a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, and we're gonna do a little taste test. See you guys in a bit. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, the boiling. And yes, it is. It's ready to go, guys. Eddie, come check it out. Perfect for the steamer, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this already cooked in ocean water. 
where they actually come from, guys. So we're just gonna bring them back up to live, like I said, and uh, have a great meal with my family here. So we're just gonna steam them, just drop them in. This is probably gonna take about, I'm gonna probably just literally put them like 10 minutes just to bring them back up to life. And I am gonna be adding, get my tail. I'm gonna be adding, like I was telling you guys, some uh, Old Bay seasoning here. Give them a good little, little taste to them. Check that out, Eddie. That's about 10 minutes, guys. Already, already touched them, they're ready to go. Seasoned perfectly with the Old Bay seasoning. Let's go ahead and put them on the, uh, on the, on the table where we're gonna be eating at. Right over here, eh? Right there. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Actually, we're gonna be doing some also uh, deep fried fish. So um, let's go check that out. On, All right, guys, we're back like how I said. So here's our delicious uh, yellow tails um, gopher uh, codfish that we did catch out there as, as well as we did our Dungeness crab. So I already floured them, egg wash, seasoned them perfectly. And we're just gonna add some uh, canola cooking oil here, guys. And I'm gonna put about, probably gonna put this whole bottle here. Should be good enough, good amount. Yeah, it's gonna be per perfect. About, it's about the size of my, the first line of my pinky finger. So we're gonna let that come up to a good temperature. Put our oil up to temperature. And you guys can check it out. Nice, perfectly gutted, scored. Ready to go into this fryer here, guys. Just be careful here. The night has come to an end, and uh, here's the last preparation. We got the deep fried uh, whole fish, one cluster with uh, legs, and uh, buttered uh, white rice, guys. So let's go ahead and test it out. I always like to taste like the, the least things that you actually make out here or actually you harvest. My mom made the rice, made it a little bit different. A lot of butter, super good. Let's go ahead and try this, uh, this fish here. Oh yeah. Yep, like my brother said, tastes that Everglades seasoning that we love at this house. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. You got these nice bones that you could just, it comes off right off the bone easily. Perfect. Real good. We're gonna try the the main thing why we actually came out here and, and had an awesome time. So it's one of the clusters. Let's try that out, guys. Mm. If you guys never had fresh crab, going to restaurants and stuff like that. It's night and day difference. Actually, it's even better when you actually physically do the whole hard labor work like how we did and how you guys saw in the beginning of the episode. Unbelievable, just completely freshness. I mean, we're gonna be out there all season long, so it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be treated with delicacy of crab and um, it's just gonna be wonders out there. So if you guys made it this far in the video, if you guys like it, subscribe. Also, if you do like it, hit that big thumbs up on, on there. And uh, if you guys have any, uh, questions just drop them down in the so good in the comment section and uh, just like always I appreciate Captain Paul and uh, all everything that he does and everything that he does for everybody out there and um, I hope you guys like the video I'll see you guys in the next cool adventure later guys